Hello everyone, welcome back to KitK Photography. This is my KitK, and in today's video, I'm about to show you how to whiten the eye and the teeth in your images right in Photoshop. So, you could see our image right on the screen. This is the before, and then this is the after. Let me open the navigator so you can see it clearly. So, the before, and then after the eye and teeth. And I did this with my advanced KitK retouching pack, which entails the eye and teeth whitening action. Yes, I'm going to leave this particular action on my store. It's going for free. Yes, I'll leave the link down below so you can go check it out. But apart from that, I'm going to walk you guys throughout and also how to create yours. Yeah, so let's delete this um, group and then let me walk you guys throughout. So the prominent color we can see on the eye and then the teeth has kind of a uh, yellowish color so first of all what you are going to do is you are going for the hue and saturation adjustment slider then you are going to tackle the yellows and since yellow is the most prominent color over here so this is master once you click here this is master and then we click on master and go to yellows so on yellows what you are going to do is just reduce the saturation to about um 80 percent will be okay yes or 81 yes and then you can choose to boost the uh, lightness as well once you are done come back to master master controls everything yes you can choose to do the yellows or move straight up to the master because master controls every color down here all right so we move the master to yes to about where we feel it's getting to the black and white feel yes so we are desaturating all colors in the image yes so we can see the eyes and the teeth are getting whiter and all we can see the yellow pigment on it as off yes so once we get it right uh, let me place this on 70 negative 70 good once you are done you see we have to add a little bit of color so i'm going to give it a little bit of blue fill we are going to do that with our photo filter Yes. So once the photo filter has been loaded, click this warming filter here and select cooling filter um, 82. Yes. But you see the intensity is too much, so you can reduce it. Either with the opacity or you can reduce it here, the density. Yes. So meanwhile, you can also choose the kind of color tint you want to give your eyes and then the teeth. But blue works fine. Yes. So not too much. I think I'll place this about 5%. Uh, let's say 10 okay you have you still reduce it here as well so I'm going to give this 80 percent yes and then we are good to go so we are going to add a little bit of brightness to everything that we've done so I'm going to punch in a little brightness so just small and then we are good to go so once you are done we see the effect is all over the image yes which we don't want it that way so we are going to group all these three and then we group it and then we name it i and t i and t yes and then you are going to create a layer max for it yes so once you are done creating the layer max all you can do is invert it invert the layer mask yes and now you go in for your brush tool so you can brush to where you want to reveal the effects make sure you are using a soft round brush as well and then make sure your foreground color is on white yes so i think i'll speed up this brush and aspect because i don't want it to get boring for you guys so catch me when i'm done so yes we are through and i want to share some key points over here so you see when you are brushing on the eye make sure you don't touch this aspect this is a flesh yes it's not an eye it's a flesh so see if you brush on it see how it's going to look it's going to look very unrealistic yes and once you are done let's check the before and after before and after yes but you see it looks too whitish so you can turn down the opacity to about 70 it's 50 to 70 is okay so let's try for 70 and let's see 
minus and 70 works perfectly. So before and after, before and after. And that's how you whiten your teeth and eye in Photoshop. Catch me on another educative tutorial like this next time. And stay tuned as well. Peace out.